I made a video about why I switched from VS Code to NeoVim. And now we are one year further and I'm gonna make the video why I switched from NeoVim to VS Code. Isn't that amazing? People are asking me every single day, why are you using VS Code? What is your configuration? What are your key bindings? Help me. Well, this is gonna be the video. But before we start, guys, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and leave some questions in the comments because I promised my grandma that I'm gonna have 100K subs by the end of the years. Don't let grandma wait. Guys, listen, before I'm actually gonna explain some stuff, there is a spoiler here. If you actually wanna learn Vim like a beast, if you wanna learn Vim like a seasoned veteran, right? If you wanna be the most efficient Vim user, you should check out the Primogen or DJ. Because these guys, they operate on a complete other level. You can never ever take a Primogen and put them in VS Code because he's gonna be so depressed because they are so efficient, they are actually utilizing Vim to the fullest, right? They are utilizing every single keybind they have. They basically use the configuration to be even more efficient and all that stuff. Based on keyboard layouts, it's, it's wild, okay? So that's a, that, there is no such thing, what's better, NeoVim or VS Code, it all depends on the behold, right? It all depends on the user of that thing. In my opinion, I'm a little Timmy. Uh, for me, it works a little bit different because I am using a small subset of the Vim motions, right? I'm just using the subset that is just enough to be very productive. Does that mean that I am the most efficient? No, not at all, right? There are way other guys I mentioned again, Primogen, DJ, and probably a bunch of others. They are way, way more efficient. All right, first of all, VS Code. Before I'm gonna explain why, I'm gonna give you my settings here and what I'm using, right? Because that's what people are asking for. I'm not using any special extension. That's the first thing, right? The only extension I am using is basically install extensions here is the Vim emulation for VS Studio Code. That's it. Of course, I'm using some other extensions, but these extensions are basically um, language servers, Golang, TypeScript, OCaml, uh, Rust, Zig, you name it, these things, right? And maybe some markdown stuff uh, can be handy, right? That's the only thing I'm using, no fancy other uh, extensions that need to be installed because people are asking that, so I keep it very, very clean, just like my women. Color theme. Groovebox, that's basically the most asked question of the year. What color theme are you using? Groovebox, dark, hard contrast. You know what I mean? Simple as that. If you wanna know my settings, my complete, the same settings, because I did a lot of configuration, um, removing a lot of clutter from, from the VS Code editor, these are in the links down below, right? That being said, let's continue here. What am I using for motions? Very simple. I'm using, I never use my mouse, right? Unless I need to do, yeah, sometimes I use it for demonstration purposes, right? On a stream or something. What am I using uh, for, for motions from Vim? is basically just the J, K, H, and the uh, L key, right? It's basically the J, K, uh, L, and then the, the problem is that I'm so used on this muscle memory using these things that I cannot directly link the, the letter with the motion. It's, it's so baked into my muscle memory. It's sometimes I need, to, I need to check my keyboard, what I'm actually using, um, because it's so tied into my muscle memory. It's pretty, pretty weird, pretty weird. So basic movement, right? The basic Vim movements, you can look them up. Of course, if you wanna go faster, you can go the W or the B to move by words. Um, I'm also using the shift, uh, the shift bracket to navigate faster. Is this the best way of navigate, navigating in Vim? No, it isn't. It isn't at all. But that's how I do it, right? And that's what you asked for. So this is it, right? Um, if you go to the bottom of the screen, you can do a shift G or a GG. Shift G, GG. All these things. Of course, if you want to search, I do the, I press the slash and then I can do get members or something, you know what I mean, press enter, right? And then you can go N uh, to cycle between B basic Vim stuff, right? No big deal, no fancy, fancy shenanigans. 
Um, of course, if you want to insert below a line, you press O. If you want to insert above a line, you press O. Uh, if you want to go to the end of the line, insert end of the line, you go Shift A or Shift Y in the in the front of the of the line. You can do is change words, uh, press U for undo or uh, delete words. Guys, again, basic. I'm not gonna repeat uh, all these key bindings, all these motions. This is just basic fin stuff, like basic. That's it. What I'm also using is some custom stuff, uh, which you can also find in my configuration, is uh, the toggle of the command line. Right? So toggling the command line is basically, a sh uh, is it shift? Let me actually test again. No, it's alt. <laughs> you see it again, it's the, the muscle memory that's so used to pressing these buttons that you actually do not think what button you're actually pressing. It's weird to explain, but it is what it is. Right, it's gonna be the alt J. Uh, you see, J is also the JJ is also binded to my escape. And that's why if I press J, it's actually not doing anything. It's annoying. Uh, so I need to do J escape, right? So Alt J is basically toggling my terminal. Easy peasy, right? You want to do something, remove it. Bring it back. Do something, remove it, right? Simple stuff. Another thing that I'm using is the Alt B, and the Alt B toggles my. Uh, well, this the font is huge. For the blind homies. So shift B, right? Uh, shift B, Alt B, Alt B to bring up the folder structure. Simple. Another important thing is the, uh, for some reason, it's the leader V, right? It's weird, right? The Alt uh, J for the terminal, the Alt B for the folder structure, and then to split the screen, right? It's going to be the, sh the, the leader V, right? Leader V, split my screen instantly, instantly brings my cursor on that screen. And then I can actually use the leader H to go to the uh, left and the leader L to go to the right, right? And shift and then you see, boom, ping pong, you know what I mean? Easy peasy, very important, I think. Split screen, something you need to learn to quickly. Of course, Primogen, Harpoon, way better, way better. But like again, Primogen is on a complete other level so we need to deal with what we have, you know what I mean? Why is it leader uh, V to split the screen? Because it basically comes from the time that I was using them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a leader V. Um, I did everything with a leader back in the day. Right? Leader V, split screen, comes from when I was using them uh, back in the days, right? Leader V, split the screen, easy peasy, and that's it. That's actually it. Believe it or not, it's, I know it's very disappointing. <laughs> it's a very disappointing video, I understand. That's the only thing I'm using. That's legit the only thing I'm using and I do not touch my mouse, you know what I mean? That's it. Of course, uh, in VS Code, you have the Alt-P to bring up your, uh, what was it called, your Fizzy Finder, always using that. I also have it at um, uh, Leader P, it's the same thing. Comes from Vim where I was using telescope. You know, leader P is my fuzzy finder. Right? Leader P. And in VS Code, you can do, put this thing. How do we call that? The uh, greater sign. And then you can do some um, native VS Code commands like Focus File Explorer or basically open up. You see Thunder Client Request, press Enter. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm using, guys. I'm a simple man and I love simple things, right? I love boring things, I love simple things. Uh, I learned that throughout my life that keeping things boring, keeping things simple is most of the time a very smooth way to success. So now we come to the basically the grand question of today. Why did you actually switch from NeoVim to VS Code? Because you can do the same thing in NeoVim, right? You can, we can, and more, and more, right? Uh, that's because a couple of reasons. First of all, I have more control on how things look. And what do I mean by that? Is if you, you see the spaces here, right? The, the line spacing is just perfect for me. This is so beautiful. The font looks so nice. It looks very clean. The scrolling is smooth. I just like it, right? Also, what I think is the, um, the hints, it's just way cleaner. Yeah, you see, if I do GD on this, it's, it's, it's going to bring up this beautiful toggle here where I can, again, uh, select with the, what I actually want to go. And I 100% agree you can do the same thing in NeoVim, but for me, I cannot find a way to have the exact same look and feel and the exact same behavior. There's always something wrong with it. There's always something... Mm, 
I don't know what it is. It's probably skill issues from my side. It's probably me not digging too well into the configuration. Uh, so it's going to be the exact same. And that's exactly my problem. Right? I don't want to spend too much time replicating everything I'm used to in VS Code in NeoVim again. I don't want to do that. Right? Um, because then I need to do it on this machine. And, I need to, and that's the second point. I also need to do it on my other machine. And if I change something here, then I also need to change it on my other machine or I need to send my config or sync my config. And you can, all, you can do that, I, I know, but it's just I don't want to deal with it. I have, I, have, I have so much things to do in my life, I just don't want to deal with it. Because during the day, I'm sitting on this machine, but at a certain point of time, I'm getting very tired and I want to relax a little bit, but I need to do some light work, right? Not the deep work, the deep focused work. I want to do some light work. And I go into my seat with my laptop, right? And yeah, VS Code just automatically syncs all my settings, right? Uh, installing a new extension, a new language is just boom. It's the same in, in NeoVim. I understand, guys. Don't trust. Like I said, NeoVim is way better than VS Code. If you operate at that level, and I'm not operating at that level. Simple as that, right? Um, so it's basically demonstration purposes. Uh, like I think GD... Uh, go to definition uh, popping up these screens is way better than vs code but that's maybe just because i don't i cannot um configure it yet. and maybe i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna join primogen primogen's stream and maybe he can actually turn me into a vim god again i don't know maybe he can maybe he cannot we're gonna see uh maybe he's a daddy you know what i mean he's the daddy of vim and if one person can do it if one person can basically baptize me back to a chat instead of a little Timmy, then it's the prime agenda. We're going to see how that's going to turn out, right? Uh, more information on that later. Uh, and it's the demonstration purposes. I do a lot of tutorials, do a lot of videos, have some courses, check them out in the link below. Uh, zooming, it just works way better on my machine, but that's because um, you can do the same thing in NeoVim. The problem is that NeoVim is tied to your terminal, right? It's tied to your terminal. Uh, and this thing is going to be the Windows terminal, which is complete garbage. So let me open up this thing if i go to active heat and let me open up engine for example you see that the spacing is not the same and it, there's always something wrong um it does not feel the same it does not look the same and maybe it's a little bit of my autism autistic character i want to yeah i'm sorry guys that's just it demonstration purposes the ease of use and all that stuff so that's the reason why it's that it's not 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 too fancy that's just the reason why uh, configuration sync, um, skill issues in configuring any of them. That's it, guys. Um, I'm not too focused at these tools anymore because I think I am efficient for what I need. Can I be more efficient? Of course I can. Um, are there way more efficient people in them? Yes, they are. Probably way more efficient. But it depends from person to person, right? It depends from person to person. Um, and for me, I'm happy with this uh, configuration. That's the reason why, you know what I mean? Uh, this video, I, I, it's a little bit of a disappointment. I agree, it's nothing too special, right? You, you expect it to, uh, some, no, it's simple. I love to keep things simple, guys, because I'm a simple man. Thanks for watching, and I see you in the next live stream or video. Bye-bye.